It's Thursday morning and I'm gonna head to the gym real quick to get in a workout before we head to Chicago. Cheers. It's actually raining in SoCal. It's crazy. I got a free car wash too. All right, so I had to stop by the storage unit to make some last minute shipments out before I head to Chicago and check out my little buddy I found. Dude, this is so gross. No sagging allowed. The secret to life is not having everything you want, but wanting everything you have. So at breakfast, our server had all this money clipped to her sweatshirt. And we were curious why she had the money clipped. And so we asked her and she told us that today was her birthday. And on top of that, she was retiring today. So all the customers had been giving her the bills as gifts. We're heading to LAX right now. Time to go to Chicago. so small. Check out the height difference. So we just got our Starbucks and I decided to choose water and get a small drink over a large. Choose water is the same thing as choose hunger. The only difference is it's focused on drinks instead of food. So what you can do is like when you go to Starbucks instead of getting a large coffee you can get a small coffee or you can just literally choose water over the drink and then you reallocate the money you save towards providing clean water for people. So I just realized that I missed the perfect opportunity to give the shirt off my back to someone. When I was at LAX, one of the workers was checking out my, my hoodie right here and he was like really into it and commenting on it and asking where he could get it. And I didn't know what to tell him because this is a one of a kind piece that I printed. And I was just so consumed by thinking about our flight and everything that it totally slipped my mind that I could, I could have just taken it off and given it to him. So I'm kind of disappointed that I missed that opportunity, but now that I'm aware, I'm ready. Chicago, here we come. If I see any opportunities, I'm gonna do it. Is it cold out here tonight? No. Not that cold? Not as cold as it can get, right? All right. We're from Los Angeles, so we were really scared that Chicago would be freezing, that we'd die. Yeah, it's not too bad right now, right? All right, take care. I've been thinking a lot about earlier today when we met the waitress who is retiring and it's her birthday on the same day. And I really wanted to give her a huge tip, but I felt like <laughs> Financially, we because of our budget, we were only able to tip like 20 bucks, but I wanted to tip her like 40 bucks. And so I was kind of sad, like, I wish I had more funds available to, you know, just do extravagant acts of love. And so that got me thinking, you know, what could I do? So for the past couple days, I've been thinking a lot about how I could separate myself financially from Generosity Game because I feel like when money's involved, I get too focused on selling and I lose focus on the heart of the brand, which is to promote generosity. So I got this awesome idea. What if instead of keeping the profits from Generosity Game, we just created a fund called something like the Extravagant Love Fund and we just use that money to do awesome crazy things like just giving out gift cards to random people or giving cash tips and just use it to extravagantly love people. I think that would be a great idea. So I'm super excited. <laughs> I 
I'm super excited for this. <laughs> That's a love one. Stay tuned in upcoming vlogs to see what we do.